quick and warm seafood chowder depending on the region that you are in you will find there are a number of different seafood chowder options that you can select from out there. The contents of these dishes will include general fish pieces as well as shellfish such as shrimp and even oysters. Depending on your taste and overall preference you should be able to locate a recipe that fits your needs. When you are creating any dish from the sea, it is essential that you keep in mind there are allergies that people may have. If you are going to be serving these dishes to your friends or family, be sure you mention the different offerings inside of the dish. If someone has an allergy make a backup plan that remains as delicious as the main course and makes everyone happy. It is important that you know that these dishes will also contain vegetables as well. The most common types are root vegetables, which include potatoes, carrots, and similar items. These help to add to the amount of food you can serve at a lower cost per person. If you are serving shellfish in your option, this can quickly cost you more. Plant it in it out to the point where you have just slightly more fish than vegetables per dish. This way you have the presence of being a seafood dish for a fraction of the cost that plain seafood chowder would cost you. Remember that with the recipes you find there is not a right or wrong set of items you place in it. Many will call for standard seafood selections and it is up to your taste to adjust it as needed. Some people might not like crab in it, while others might want to avoid potatoes. The final decision is always up to the cook to make the dish if they feel their family will enjoy it. One of the best things about seafood chowder is that it does make a quick and warm meal that the entire family can enjoy on a cold winter night or a rainy summer day. Thick and hearty seafood chowder What you will need 1 tablespoon oil 2 cups chopped onions 1 cup diced celery 1 half cup chopped carrot 2 bay leaves 1 teaspoon minced garlic 2 large cans clam juice 2 cans diced tomatoes 1 and 1 half pounds new potatoes 1 can corn 1 half cup chopped parsley 4 pounds raw assorted cleaned shellfish of your choice How to make it in a large saucepan Begin to heat your oil and then mix in your carrots, celery, and onion then season them with your cayenne and bay leaves. Allow this mixture to cook for 5 minutes and then stir in your tomatoes and clam juice and allow it to boil. When it reaches this point, add in your corn and potatoes, and then allow it to simmer for about 20 minutes. Season your dish and serve hot with a quick and warm seafood chowder. Depending on the region that you are in you will find there are a number of different seafood chowder options that you can select from out there. The contents of these dishes will include general fish pieces as well as shellfish such as shrimp and even oysters. Depending on your taste and overall preference you should be able to locate a recipe that fits your needs when you are creating any dish from the sea.